Good afternoon. We are going on an off-road recovery. If I can back out of my own driveway without hitting anything. Oh, I just full on Austin powered myself. Oh well. But yeah, we're going on an off-road recovery uh, way up in the Three Creeks Wilderness outside of Sisters. And as you can see, we're in the tow truck, not the Jeep. Even though this would normally totally be a Jeep job. But the uh, fan clutch went out in the Jeep. So now the engine's getting hot, which is a minor detail. The important thing is that means the AC is getting hot. And my rule is if the AC doesn't work, neither do I. So the Jeep is sitting in the shop. It's actually sitting right there in the shop. And it's gonna sit right there until the AC gets fixed or the fan clutch that will fix the AC. Uh, so we're taking the tow truck, which is not super ideal for where we're going, but it's what we're taking. So I'm gonna grab a shovel couple blocks of wood because we might need them and uh, we're gonna go pick up Austin and then head to the woods okay well we're going Three Creeks Wilderness Sounds like a blast. Uh, front wheel drive rental car way up at the top of the trail to Shush Falls yeah stuck on a rock nailed it so we had to go weird most trails usually have rocks around trailheads usually have rocks around them yeah so we got to go uh, lift it off of the rock without gutting anything up under it and we're taking the tow truck because the ac doesn't work in the jeep so yeah i, I like this plan yeah so we're gonna take this and see how it goes getting fuel like always it's a clip it's like a bag of chips hey and what the hell i gave you a nice cascade heavy rescue shirt i told you i told you I... something that the holes in it you've had since you were 14. Yeah, I told you, I, I, I only wear like one kind of t-shirt. Yeah. Mich hey, Michelle makes fun of me. She says I'm like one of those cartoon characters where they go into their same closet every day and get the same outfit. That's me. Yeah. Well, we got fuel and some supplies to survive so we don't eat each other. Got, down. Got, a, got a Red Bull. Got a Red Bull. And now we're heading up the mountain to go mm -hmm. see if we can find these people. Um, they told me the trailhead they're at, but there's two ways to get there, and I don't think the two ways connect. So we'll find out. Any, 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 mo? Yeah. Close enough. Merle. Merle, come here. We brought Merle along. Merle's gonna sniff them out for us. Yeah. He's been on a few of these. You ready, Merle? Oh, I should probably. We gotta turn right here. Yeah, you're See, going the wrong way out of town. No, this is the right way. I just is it? I just realized it at the very last second. Yeah, this is totally the right way. All right, we're on our way. Okay, so that mountain right there, the base of it is where we're going. There's a there's a waterfall up there that everyone tries to go to, and not everybody makes it. So. They were trying to find the waterfall, and they said they never found it. So they, they got parked where they thought they were supposed to, but couldn't find a trail to actually get to it and now they're stuck. Okay, so it is super, super washboard. So while I'm locking this up, you got the other one locked? Yes. All right, it is very, very washboard. So we lock the hubs and we put it in four wheel drive. And the two things that does are one, it helps us not bounce so bad and two stops from making the washboards even worse because we're not spinning the whole way up the hill also saves tires yeah. and since i know people are saying to air down air down you can air down these 195s on this truck all you want they're going to do a take until they fall off the beam yeah these are these stupid heavy rated 195s which are why i can get away with running single wheels on this tow truck but that also means they don't flex. You can air them all the way down. They don't flex. You get them down enough where they flex, the first thing they do is they come up to beat. So, no. No airing down in this truck. It doesn't work. Okay, here's what we got going on. We got two phones. Neither one of them have great service. I have a pin drop they sent me. Austin has the location they told us they were at. They said they were at the Cush Falls Trailhead, right there at the sign, everything for the trailhead, which is what Austin has pulled up. Yeah. I had them send me their location here, and it pulled up this. These are two very different places. And this intersection we're at right here, if we're, we either go that way, 
over there or this way up here. I wouldn't go that way. I think we should go this way. I can't cuss. You need to buy some editing software. I mean, I can, but it's a pain, so. Their pin drop says this road. But they told us they were at the trailhead, which is out that road. I say we go this way and see if we can find them. There. Or a whole other ridge line. That's not even on a regular road. It's not even on MapQuest road. Well, there's no MapQuest out here. I don't have enough service to load it. We're going to try going this way. And if it takes longer... No, they're at this... Your turn. What? Your turn. Oh, maybe not. So, just to recap all this. Okay, yeah, that's Snow Creek. We're lost. And... So, oh, this makes sense. Kinda. They said they could, they got to there and couldn't find the actual trail to go to the waterfall. So if you type in Cush Falls and not Cush Falls Trailhead, this is the closest point to Cush Falls out here in the woods, as far oh. as the road goes. So they, GPS probably took them there because they put Cush Falls, not Cush Falls Trailhead, which is way, way different, way over over there. So that would that would make sense of why they couldn't find the um, the trail. Okay, let's go this way. We're gonna go this way. I don't know if it's right, but that's what we're gonna do. So off we go. This way is a much smaller road than that one, though. Yeah, but they're also stuck, so the smaller road does kind of make sense. Okay, it was too rocky to check for tracks back there at the intersection, but you get up here a little bit, and these here look like little rental car tire tracks, so maybe that means we're on the right path. But up here, there's uh, dirt bike tracks too, but that dirt bike track goes up and comes back down, so... I don't think they made it to where these people are because there's only one set of these little car tire tracks. So, hope that means we're on the right track. This rock is hard on the tires. Yeah, we got two more miles to go. Look at that stick out there. That's gonna get a tire. Really would have liked to have a Jeep right now. Yeah. Two more miles, if this is even the right road. got to the trailhead and went to the end of the road. Look at those little tire tracks right there. Should we walk up this and see? Because I don't want to back up there. Yeah. Let's go for a walk. We're going to go for a walk. Don't shut off the tow truck. You never no. do that when you're out in the middle of nowhere. No. Never shut anything. Okay, let's go see what we find. Okay, we found our car. So it is a high center on stump. So we gotta figure out how to get it off the stump. Merle, why are you being so noisy? Oh, he wants to play the stick. So it's high centered on the stump, and we gotta figure out how to get it off without dragging the oil pan off of it or the front bumper. So. First thing we gotta do is we gotta figure out how to get the tow truck back here. Back it in. 
yeah, let me come up this backwards. Because I think once we lift this up off of here, we're going to want to winch it backwards off this so it stays stable. We picked a random page out of this book, what not uh -huh. to use. Do not random, use the book. Random page, number 47. Easy hike. Here comes Casey. Come on, bro. Out of the way. Okay. And it does say one thing. Well, we first went to a trail like a mile or two, oh, a few miles, like yeah. a while away. We went to another trail that didn't lead anywhere. So we thought we went to the wrong place. So we came here instead. And it said it was supposed to be a really uh, bumpy road, which it was since this is like not a clear road. Yeah. Uh, and we thought we were going to the right place, but then we came here and there's nothing around here. So we wanted to turn around and we just got stuck. So. They, they'll still turn on with no oil, they just won't last long. I mean, it was on for a while because we were dying of heat. Is that block long enough? I got another one I'm going to put behind it. Oh. And then we'll see if we can just back off of it and off that stuff. Hopefully, we don't have to winch it. You won't get stuck again. You got two for one deal. There's no reception on the road. Even here, we have to jump. We called a lot of people and they said, oh, we're closed, oh, we don't service that area. A lot of people don't do off road either. Yeah, and like our phone kept going out of service, so we would only, like, if we got a call through, we were so this excited. This is like his main thing. I think I am going to winch it because if it slips forward at all, it's going to hit the wall pan and nothing's broke yet, so I'd rather play it safe than. Safe sounds great. Yeah, let's After play what safe. I've done already, safe, that's fine. That's it. Are yeah, you there's the other tire? No, I don't think I'm going to have to. Okay. Uh, that other tire's in a big hole, so as soon as it starts to come back, it's going to lift that side. Yeah. Does the car need to be in neutral? Not yet. What do you think, Merle? Merle wants to steal your microphone. I fudged. Uh, the microphone looks like Merle. Merle, come here. Okay, so put it in neutral. Over here. So we have a snatch block going from the back of the car to that tree, back to the truck. And then long blocks here to stay off the oil field. Oh, do your parking brake on? So put your, put your foot on the brake pedal. And do the right foot. Now release the parking brake. Just push it and let off. Okay, now slowly let your foot off the brake. Perfect. Okay, now just hold the wheel. Merle, straight. sit. Sit. You need to leapfrog that block? Yeah. Move this one back. Let's build the bridge. Put your foot on the brake a little bit. Okay. Let off a little and slowly gonna roll down off these blocks. A little bit at a time. Let off just a little. A little more. Perfect. Okay, let off. Okay, go ahead and put it in park. And hold on for just a sec. And we gotta now get it facing out of here. Turn all the way to the passenger side. And put it in drive. See how sharp it turns. Okay, come forward. Okay, stop there. Let's go. 
that matches my truck. Yeah. Okay, come turn to the driver's side and try backing up. You're going to go about three feet. And from here up, you got it meters. Okay, 2.72 meters. Okay. I totally made that up. Keep going. <laughs> Close That's enough. Keep going. Well. Okay, stop there. Turn all the way to driver or passenger side. Well, go. Wait, is this still driver and passenger or is that backwards too? Okay. Not from right, come on forward and stay turned this way. I'm not going to say where I'm from because I don't want to disappoint my people. <laughs> come on forward. Okay, you're out. So we'll put all our tools away and make our way out of here. I'll follow you. Okay. Now we just going to get out of here without getting a flat tire or another flat tire or either one of these oil pants. It went pretty decent though. Not too bad. I might have got away without winching it, but if it You're gonna get blocked, right? No, damn it. Okay, now we're out of here. Now okay. I got my blocks. Yeah, in case you had to go back and get some blocks. I would not have to go back up here to get them. No. I'd just get new ones. Well, actually, with the price of timber nowadays. True. It's probably <laughs> Those blocks are probably more expensive than the fuel. $20 for a block. Jesus. And he's got to make it down without hitting an oil pan. What I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by the guy who reminded me that I forgot my blocks. Yeah. Um, I probably could have got away with doing that without winching. But if it would have slipped on those blocks, it would have center punched the oil pan. So it wasn't really worth the risk. 100% worth it. So. <laughs> Finally off the dirt road and back to pavement, but not back to civilization. You know what you need? You need one of them little fancy uh, catchphrases, like. You don't um, need a catchphrase. Yeah, just like this. Look at, see how quickly I just lock you guys on the dash like that against the mount. Oh, you need a little look catchphrase. Look at, mount right there. I could lock in just like that. Done. I don't need a catchphrase. Yeah. What should my catchphrase be? I don't know. I'm gonna think about it though. Oh, I can just imagine the catchphrase you're going to come up with. Okay, so now we are back on pavement, headed back to town. Uh, that is it for this one, and I don't want a catchphrase. Okay. So, unless you think of one that's really good, because I bet one of you will come up with something better than what you'll come up with. <laughs> so, that's it for this one. Uh, it went good, I think. Yeah, it went great. So, easy peasy. Easy, and rather than getting there, two hours off into the woods, but... We're out of there now, so we will see you guys next time.